What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So backstory to what I'm about to share with you. A little over a year ago, I teamed up with somebody to try and create an angle kit for the V1. And I know some of you, you guys that do watch, you know, I've, I've talked about it on the channel over the last year and it just didn't work out. You know, it long story short, didn't work out. So Initially, what I wanted before I teamed up with outside people was to create a simple angle kit, something that can bolt onto the car and can be taken off if you want. It's not that invasive to the car, doesn't require much modification or permanent any permanent modification at all. So right now, you can either go with cut knuckles, which is what I have on the Drift V currently, or you can go a different route and go with uh, there is an angle kit available right now, but it requires cutting the factory pickup point off of your knuckle. Again, a permanent thing. So you can't go back to factory if you ever want to. You can't undo it. And it kind of lacks any kind of further adjustability. So I teamed up with a good friend of mine and he helped me out with creating bolt-on angle blocks for the first gen CTSV. Now, this is just a 3D printed version right now. So it's plastic, but this is the first test piece that we have. Now I will show you guys how it works and give you a little explanation behind it. So the idea is that the angle block will bolt on to your lower ball joint and go in between your lower control arm and your steering knuckle. And then here it will bolt through your factory uh, steering pickup point, tie rod pickup point on your knuckle. Then it gives you this other spot in here where your new pickup point will be for your tie rod. And what that does is simulate having a cut knuckle. However, there is a difference here. So you're gonna have, we have this big five eighths bolt. This is a test piece. Uh, it's from my 3000 on the steering knuckles that I have on there. That'll go through and that will sit right in place on the uh, angle block. So. Underneath, we have these holes. That's gonna be your Ackerman adjustment. We are gonna have a plate that goes underneath here that has dowel pins that will locate your Ackerman adjustment on an inner and outer position. From there, you're gonna have a cone spacer. So that, that Ackerman adjustment piece is gonna be about a quarter of an inch thick. So from there, you're gonna have your cone spacer, you're gonna have your heim joint, and you're gonna have your other cone spacer, and then you're gonna have a nut to tighten that all down. So that gives you your new pickup point like so, and it will simulate your cut knuckle. So where we're at right now is we need to test fit this. Now, the big next step of this project, assuming that everything lines up on a test fit, the big next step is creating a spherical lower ball joint, something that has never been done for the first gen Vs yet before either. So what we're gonna do is create an adapter cup. We're gonna pick a lower um, spherical joint that will suit our application, bolt diameters and stuff like that. And then what we're gonna do is, uh, once we have that spherical joint, we're then gonna build a cup around the spherical joint. The cup will press into your lower control arm, and then the spherical joint will be already pressed into the cup. And then you're gonna have a stud that will go through your spherical joint, through your angle block, through your knuckle, and a nut will go down on top just like factory. So. That's kind of where we're at right here. And um, yeah, you know, we're looking pretty good. I'm excited. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Hopefully no one steals my idea, but a lot of work. It took a lot of work to get to this point and we still have a lot of work to do, but I figured I just wanted to share with you V guys that at some point this year, there will be an angle block solution and I'm going to be using my street car. So I'm using a bone stock CTSV to uh, design all this stuff off of. So all the test fitting and stuff like that, like I'll know that it works because my Driffy has cut knuckles. So none of this will work. And, uh, you know, honestly, if I like the way it works, we already have one knuckle to build this off of. So I would buy another knuckle and run this part on the Driffy then to, uh, to make it all work. And uh, if anything, I could put my cut knuckles on my street car, you know, why not have a little more steering angle on the street, but either way, coming soon, some point 2024, that's the goal, 2024. I wanted to have it done sooner, but 
Uh, we hit some roadblocks with the last angle kit venture that we went down and uh, but we're on a on a good path here and uh, honestly this is like what this is why I like working with my friends because um, you know we get stuff done my friends are reliable in that sense so uh, shout out to fish shout out to Chris for supplying some uh, additional parts to help us make this happen and uh yeah so thank you guys for watching just want to make this short video and i might do more videos like this uh just to keep everyone in the loop of what we're doing and uh because you know we're always trying to come up with new ideas here at stansco and uh make cool stuff happen also just want to let you guys know that we have the midlife motorheads uh fully adjustable upper control arms tubular upper control arms for the v1 platform available on our site now so head over check them out they give you more camber adjustment some caster adjustment and whatnot uh to replace your factory uppers so with that thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video